Welcome to Mosaic Church of the Nazarene. I'm Joe Keller, and today Pastor Rex will be sharing us the word from the Word of God titled, It is What You Leave Behind You When You Go. But first, please join us in some praise and worship to glorify the Lord. Education, one for higher education, 
and two of them were searching for lost souls. That driver never ever saw the stop sign. Eighteen wheelers just can't stop on a dime. There are three wooden crosses on the right side of the highway. Why, there's not four of them, heaven only knows. I guess it's not what you take when you leave this world behind you. It's what you leave behind you when you go. Well, that farmer left a harvest, a home in 80 acres. The faith and love for growing things in his young son's heart. And that teacher left her wisdom in the minds of lots of children. Did her best to give them all a better start. And that preacher whispered, can't you see the promised land? Bloodstained Bible in that booker's hands. There are three wooden crosses on the right side of the highway. Why, there's not more of them, heaven only knows. I guess it's not what you take when you leave this world behind you, it's what you leave behind you. That's the story that our preacher told last Sunday. As he held that bloodstained Bible up for all of us to see, said, Bless the farmer and the teacher and that preacher who gave this Bible to my mama, who read it to me. There are three wooden crosses right side of the highway why there's not more of them now i guess we know another not what you take when you leave this world behind you it's what you leave behind you when you go there are three wooden crosses on the right side of the highway I will be quoting a praise from the song Three Wooden Crosses by Randy Travis as the title of our devotional message tonight. It is what you leave behind you when you go. No matter what path our lives take, we are all going to die, whether we are rich or poor, healthy or sickly, young or old, it is unavoidable that we are destined to die. This devotional message is not about death or dying, by the way. It is about living. It is about making choices while we are still alive. So are we living the life we want people to remember us after we die? It is about what you leave behind you when you go. So as we go through our journey of life, we continuously create a personal legacy and our legacy is the part of ourselves that will be left in the hearts and minds of others we will leave behind. Every human in this earth will leave behind something others will remember. So, how do you want to be remembered after you die? In the Bible, we can find several examples, like Abraham is remembered as the father of faith when he followed God into the promised land. Moses is remembered as the giver of the Ten Commandments. How about David? David is remembered of his victory over Goliath. Solomon is remembered with the building of the first temple. Joshua is remembered with the fall of the walls of Jericho as they entered the promised land. Esther is remembered in saving her people from death. Ruth is remembered with her saying, your people will be my people and your God my God, as she willingly followed her mother-in-law, Naomi. 
Mary, the mother of Jesus, is remembered in her response to the message of the angel. Be it done to me according to your word. In human history, we find several examples as well. Alexander the Great is remembered as one of the greatest and most successful military generals the world has ever seen. Abraham Lincoln is remembered to have united the United States of America during the Civil War. Martin Luther King is remembered in his famous speech, I have a dream. How about Mother Teresa? She is remembered by her compassionate work among the poor of Calcutta, India. We can give more examples of people who left big footprints. It is what you leave behind you when you go. How do you want to be remembered? Our morals, our values, the examples we set, the path we choose, the decisions we make, and the way we conduct our life create our unique signature that others will remember after we leave this earth. So do you hope to be remembered in a positive way? So, well, most of us do, isn't it? So then we must ask ourselves, what do you leave behind you when you go? I am not thinking of huge sum of money that your children will inherit and fight over with after you die. I feel it is important to focus on what you done for others while you are still alive. I ask myself the same question. What do I leave behind me when I go? I do not have earthly riches to leave behind. Maybe I have enough money in the bank to pay for my cremation. I do not have a land or a house for my sons to inherit. I am glad to have served as a pastor, Bible college teacher, and a missionary in the Church of the Nazarene. But on the other hand, there are things I did that I would like to change in the things that people will remember with me remember me with so it is what you leave behind you when you go do not let life pass you by without considering what you leave behind you every decision you make every act you did every word you said and every relationship you have will create a lasting memory on others this are the things and the terms of what you will store up for yourselves. So think in terms of where will you, where will you store up your treasures. According to Matthew chapter 6, verse 19 to 21, do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and vermin destroy and where thieves break it and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moth and vermin do not destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. So how do you invest your life? In the example given in the song of Randy Travis, the farmer invested his life in the faith and love of growing things, in his young son's heart. The teacher left her wisdom in the minds of lots of children and did her best to give them all a better start. The preacher invested his life in looking for lost souls. The song ended up with the son of the hooker preaching from the bloodstained Bible of the dead preacher. That's how she invested her life in the life of her son, becoming a preacher. It is what you leave behind you when you go. Our Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this reminder that we can leave something, not of material possessions that we have, 
but things that people will remember us with on where did we invest our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Pastor, and thank you, everyone, for tuning in to our midweek service. If you have been blessed by today's message and you're watching on YouTube, please give us a thumbs up and click the notification bell to be notified of our future videos. If you would like to support this ministry with your offerings or donations, please send them to Mosaic Church of the Nazarene, 8499 North Dort Highway, Mount Morris, Michigan, 48458. Or now you can also show your support through donating at our Patreon page, which is located at patreon.com backslash mosaic naz. Please join us at our next service. We welcome you and your family, and you'll find us right across from Skateland here on Dort Highway each Sunday morning at 1030 a.m. We pray the Lord would bless you so that you then will become a blessing to others.